And we're live! Yo. What's up, what's up? You know what? You know what? You know what? I don't like the auto zoom like that. Don't like it. Don't like it. Goodbye, auto zoom. Goodbye. What happened to that? Let's do it. Hey, two viewers. Whoa! What? Hang in there, please. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna Here work we out. go. Listen to Dutch. Beginning I of chapter four. Understand this, but I have never been Battle of Shady Bell. Than I am right now. I knew but someone named Shady Bell you're once. Doing the right thing. If I don't get that right boy now. back safe, I um, didn't. She, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, let's get the light on boy it. Boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. Facts so far, we still got the missing boy. What do you think? Boy's still missing. The boy will be fine. Boy's gonna be fine. Well, of course, Marston. Skin Arthur, we trust. Me. We killed all those people. We yeah. stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. There might be a chance that there's Confederate for gold living. still out there. I got a good feeling. Get that I mean, you know, yesterday that I hypothesized that, you know, trust Confederate me. gold is a total sham of got a, a, a fool's a errand for Visitors. idiots and. Retired, overweight Good day, fine men who people. Mr. Vanderlyn, looking for creative ways to Matthews, get rid of all the money that they saved. And who are you? But who knows? Rick this is a video Winkle. game, totally fictional um, world. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Oh, we did this already, ah, and Moore. it didn't save, which makes me very on, disappointed. Man. This is crazy. So we got to go back to that Confederate house. Follow me. I know the way. All right, so we're gonna go back to where those Confederates were living, and we're gonna get rid of the the bodies, which is right. totally anticlimactic. End to this third chapter, we'll if you ask me. But then again, what do I know? I'm playing video games in my basement on a Wednesday night. Oh wait, it's Tuesday. My battles. All right. Also, I don't. It seems like every time I play, you know, I'm a county fair jump. No, too late. I mean, too late. How many people we killed the past few weeks? I'm, I'm, I'm happy that they're kind of, you know, reflecting on the type of chaos that they've caused over the last. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. I just kind of do this in order to just show off some of my driving, horse riding techniques. You do realize immediately, I know I've said it before, just how terrible husbandry in general is, but horse riding particularly. I bet you there was humongous parties once the car became the common mode of transportation. I don't even know where the fuck I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I don't know where I'm going in this game. Quite metaphorical. Things don't always work out. That's what I was just talking about, old boy. Oh my god, the long and winding road. 
of Arthur Morgan. For Christ's sakes. Oh my gosh. Unreal. I should rename the title of this stream to Terrible, Terrible Driving Skills with Composite Beast. Should I rename it? I'm thinking about renaming the name of my stream. I just want to walk up to people at work tomorrow and right. say things like that. How's it going? Ah, I've had some problems recently. I'm not sure if I should name my Twitch stream. What's a Twitch stream? What are you talking about? What do you mean, Twitch stream? You know, like a... My Twitch stream. I... Last night I had two viewers, but that's because I put my Twitch on two different computers in my house and a cell phone, which made it three. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through. That's Dutch endless no optimism. Dutch would be like Tony we're Robbins in, in this day and age. You ain't seen inside it yet. Right. Ain't oh, that was Arthur. With his endless optimism. It's them again. Oh, Boys, come on. Oh, he's upstairs. Here. here we go. Where'd that clown go? Ay, ay, ay. This. Oh, good. I'm happy. Poor guy. Come on, I don't even want to hurt these Anymore, people. Upstairs, I mean, theory I do as as far as you know ex confederates, but I just. Come and me there. I don't know. It's too close range for me. I kind of like the idea of having people far away, far away, break the lock. Oh, I'm gonna be real happy to shut you up. He's got jokes. There we go. You across the oh. All right. Still think it's funny? I'm a man of my word. Here we go. Oh, please. You're the one hiding. I'm me. All right. Arthur's the kind of jerk. He kills someone and then he says something to them afterwards. How about we fight? We want to eat. No, I don't think so. I'm not a machete type of guy. Sorry. Sorry. How's it looking up there? All right. Looking kind of disgusting. Come up, actually. Actually, it looks terrible. Actually, it doesn't look so good. Actually. You coming? I'm just gonna list a, a bunch of things that actually didn't happen. Actually, oh, a room with a veranda. We're currently housing this. He's gonna tell me to go downstairs just to go back upstairs, which is. Come down, I want you to go back up. No, no, come this way. No, no, wait, wait, go back to where you were. Give me a hand moving these bodies. Oh my gosh. Here we go. This is busy work with a capital B. Busy work with a capital B. Yep. And of course that Z, however. What is this? The Sopranos? What am I doing even? What am I even doing here? What are you, what are you doing? That's what I'm wondering. I'm asking myself left and right, what am I doing? Drop it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Ooh, I <laughs> like that he hit the dog. Why would you volunteer that? Why would you volunteer, Arthur? It's a silly thing to volunteer. That's not going to set anything correct in, in this path of complete moral degradation that you've lived for the last some odd years. Okay, let me get rid of this fella. <sighs> that guy was gonna kill himself if I hadn't killed him, which is some that's almost like a mercy killing. Personal opinion. All right, let's do this, and then we can go to chapter four proper. Ooh. I'm out of I'm out of sheep. 
once this is over and the money comes in, I think I'm gonna join the gym. Yeah, I know, I know. Fucking Arthur. All this wisdom, you can't even bench press a uh, old confederate. Oh, come on. There we go. Ooh. Yeah. We got fine living. You know the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I've got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. Why are you... Molly O'Shea. Sounds like a da an, I an Irish bar in any downtown in the United States. In the lower 48. Why doesn't my phone work? Why doesn't it? Well, you're not here for this. I'm not here to watch the technology. All right, let's do it. Is it too much to ask that you ride Let's go see D-Bag. I mean, Dutch. I hope you didn't hear me say it. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized Here we go. San Denis, I keep hearing about. San Denis. The, map, the road up this way should lead That's Saint right Denis in French. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Guess that not, boy. homeboy. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay. Hell Any yeah. Sense? Nothing major. And John, about what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it so it's going to be our big focus. Our big, the gang's big the push. For Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. And what about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out. Fuck the Pinkertons. That's what I'm saying. Pinkertons. Where'd they... We need to move what happened to them? Later. Put some ocean between oh wait, us they're the FBI this. now. The see, I know stuff. Families. I've watched Jeopardy Losing before. Sean. I see things differently now. Oh. Uh, Anytime any Dutch starts to get philoso philosophical like just, this, it means he's trying to anymore. sell you some nonsense. He's going to have me do really? some wretched, Dutch terrible yeah. stuff. Maybe. Uh, here we go. I'm Leaving the country. About it. All right. Whatever we do. We'll need more money. Why does everyone follow this guy blindly? Blindly. All right, here we go. Here it is. Once we cross this bridge, there's no turning back, except when we're gonna have to turn back and go backwards, back to where we were. Okay. We got five viewers right now. This makes me so happy. Three of them are me. I have a cell phone here. I have a computer. I've got another computer. Big cities. They're always repellent. Look at this. You don't even know. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Oh. Go see what you can figure out. Oh man, yes. look at it. Already fucking up the environment. 1899. I love when people play a game like this or they watch a movie and they they think it's real and they're like look what they're doing oh don't do that don't do that and I'm not calling it Saint Denis I'm not doing it I'm calling it Saint Dennis because this is America and I would like to act ignorant so that's what I'm doing Ooh, we got some missions oh and I got a little thing achievement unlocked I settled some feuds 
A lot of French words. Feud? Is that a French word? We're gonna pretend it is. Whoa. You slow the hell down. Alright, so welcome to St. Denis. I'm excited. Cobblestone streets. It's the first time we've seen a paved road. Alright. Paved roads are popular in metropolitan cities around the turn of the century. So uh, influence, another European influence upon America. Yeah, BR for bring it. Alright, so let's hitch up, folks. Let's hitch up. Look at this guy. What the f look, he's the troublemaker, that guy. I guarantee Excuse it. Me. He looks like Pat Sajak. What are you looking at? What, what are you looking at? Yeah, don't talk to me. I'm more of a Jeopardy guy. Alright. Oh, this is... I don't know if I'm going to be able to deal with this. I'm happy that I'm I, I'm hooked up to Twitch. This is an accountability. You know how like some people have an accountability partner or like a Fitbit? Going on Twitch is like... It guarantees me I get my $59 worth of, for this... Uh, for this game because... I wouldn't finish this without without me watching it on three computers, watching myself watch it on three computers. I just wouldn't do it. It's not in my personality. And now I have this like kind of Oh, this is this is supposed to be New Orleans. See, I'm fucking worldly. Where's BR? So, um I wouldn't have it's just this is too much to process for me. Here we go. Cinematic mode, I love it. I get excited like a boost. Oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. Yeah. This is Farrakhs' is Spider-Man looks uh, a little less serious. So I think, I don't know. I think it is, though. Give it a shot. This I is, so. I feel like this just is a life or death situation. Cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. All right. Here we go. My wife's here, ladies and gentlemen. There's three people watching. My wife's here. <laughs> and she's laughing at me. She's 100% happy that I've decided to... This is my television studio from now on. You'll see. <laughs> I've only got 14 chapters left, so don't worry. Yeah. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first right. sign of trouble. You I don't like when they give you that option to go near the, like, that far away from now, the bartender. All right. Help? Yeah, you order a whiskey. whiskey. What the hell? Sure. Pull my arm, why don't you? Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Sure. That's the real stuff. From Scotland. Oh, everything's from Scotland. Scotland and Ireland. Remember that Hamish dude we had to kill? Well, I didn't like that. Did he just give him a hard time about the, the price of the whiskey? I ask you a question. You He's not used to the the, the big town. Who's asking? Me. Uh oh. Anytime someone tells you no, who's asking, you know that they've you mean, they know exactly what Look, you're talking what about. You mean, but leave it, friend. You and Ooh. your pal that was in here before. Who's in here before? Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Oh, this guy's got balls. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. Long streak of piss? What does that mean? Ooh! That's the first cocksucker of the game. It's getting good. Alright, we've heard some really rancid shit so far, but this is the first cocksucker. Oh, man. You know when you hear that, like, bass thing? Right? Yeah. They're not to be trusted. Oh my god. Isn't it isn't it a shame that they they're trying to just kind of like show the different groups of the 19th century and yet you can walk into a bar today anywhere in your where you live and you could hear the same thing. How far we've come and how little we've come at the same time. Yes, 
and then Hi there. Have you seen any kids Can you around here? turn oh, the man. ring on my finger? Just through that archway there. Did you say archway? Hey. Mm. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? <laughs> I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? Ooh, these kids are really. I I can pay. Five. Whoa, dollars. they're fighting each live? other for. Oh. I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. That's a French word, and they're in Louisiana, so that makes sense. Here, come on. This way. Let's go, Mister. Oh. You coming, Cleet? Cleet. Never hang out with someone Stay named close. Cleet. Easy to get it's a rule. This guy's got three thousand dollars in his pocket, and we're not you even taking city, into mister? account of inflation. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. And he's complaining about a dollar shot of whiskey, five dollars for this urchin. These kids were rough. They knew how to haggle. And... On the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. They don't really sell literary novels, which is more of my forte. Another French word. Look at this guy. He rips you off and acts as a tour guide at the same time. My mama says they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh Bet they don't have This is a straight up New Orleans tour. Shit. That's what they get they get you with the facts. They get you with the facts and then they rob you. Oh now I gotta get this kid. Did he jump on a Where's my horse? I should call my horse. You can't call your horse and run? That's bullshit. I'm gonna shoot this fucking kid, I swear to god. Yeah, go. Go get hit by- Oh, He's really taking advantage of the local transportation network. And I'm a tourist, so I don't know how it works yet. He's got the bus schedule in his back pocket. He knows exactly when the trolley's coming. I don't- Don't you have pigs to feed? What kind of insult is that? Oh, I'm gonna cut you off. This isn't gonna work. <laughs> I love when people yell at public transportation vehicles like, Get back here! Oh, this kid's really... Did he just call me the village idiot? What was the rule about killing kids in 1899 in New Orleans or wherever the hell we're supposed to be? Same fucking... What's the name of this place? Kid's like, where is this little shit? He's like half a fucking tour guy. He's like a Einstein, Doogie Howser slash, you know, I don't know, like Newsies. This meets Newsies. What is this? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose. This is gonna be the first failure of the game for tonight. Let's start. Oh no, this guy's mad at me now. Where is this kid? He's just gonna pop out and give me a trivia question. Give me a little piece of. Notice the archway. I can't even run right now. I'm so frazzled. Okay, he's got to be in here. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. Just jump over the. Oh, God. Yes. Yeah, Arthur, you need that little hit of adrenaline to realize. Okay, where's the fucking kid? He was waiting for me. You better stop right now. They got. They enjoyed this type of stuff. Kids like this. He waited for me. Uh, wait, what? Don't tell me he's hit. Now, if this kid got hit by a... No, we're not going to start this now. Oh, he's that way. I thought he was going to get hit by the horse there. That would have been... I would have felt bad for all the shit I said about him then. Where is he? Oh, he's in a tree. He's got to be. God damn it. Big lug. Where is he? Troublemaking. Uh, oh, I didn't even bump into it. Oh, Jesus. I've, got, I've built such a complex from being in the West. You bump into someone, the next thing you know, there's 38 bounty hunters after you. Here, at least, they kind of understand, like, all right, look, I'm running after this kid. I feel weird about it to begin with. He's calling me names I don't even... Oh, jeez. This is really... This is... The, playing anything 
I really, I should be wrapped up in a straight jacket. I'll feel good about myself. Playing anything, doing anything is just a constant struggle against my self-esteem here because this just makes me realize how uncoordinated, ow, and dyslexic. You know, I don't know what that's called, like directionally dyslexic, directionally dyslexic. Look at this guy. Don't think I like you right here. Oh my god, like I need you on my... Oh shoot, sorry man. I've had a rough day. I just got... Can we jump over this? It'd be ridiculous if we... Oh. <laughs> I swear to God, I'll buy something for myself. Dope. That was that was the last straw for Arthur when he told him he told him he would buy something for himself. Oh my gosh, this is nuts. Is he? I think that he's maybe he's drawing me to. Drawing me towards Bronte. Where is this? Oh, uh, in a market, of course. So, welcome to Saint Denis. Two things I don't like already. I have to pretend I I have to pronounce it in French, and this mission here sucks. That's not the kid. Oh my gosh. That's not the kid. That's not the kid. That's not the kid. Oh, did I just fall in shit? The old apple trick. Isn't it funny how things like uh, falling on banana peels aren't funny anymore? Like the, the level of entertainment has really evolved over time for better or for worse. For better or for worse. Is that him? Get over here! Don't buy yourself something nice on my dime! What's the Holy problem, shit! Yep, I do it. That's a you typical move. What are you talking Street about, kids. I ain't you. Draw you into the that madness. I, I knew there was a reason why he was doing now, that. Give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte! Senor Bronte! The kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. <gasps> Come on! You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got Connor. a lot of friends, Connor said Mr. Dutch is like Gary V, I know. I ain't never All you need to do you. is just wake up every you day. Friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. What's up, Connor? Mr. Bronte? That was stressful. He's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house and I'm I writing what I'm saying actually, which is ridiculous. He got We should play men, together, mister. see. Why are you gonna say a thing about you? See, dog. I just speak with <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. We should, we should play together. You That's what we should do. You and friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. Yes. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. They talk to you like you know where you're going. They're just like, now, you take a left on Flavian Street. When you're in the west, it's worse. They're giving you east-west directionals. I need up, down, left, right. I've said this several hundred times. It's been documented throughout my career on different, you know, m me in my basement talking to myself on microphones and stuff like that. All right, let's go to Flavian Street. What is that? Is that a side mission? Pro tip. Avoid side missions at all costs. They are... A Pandora's box of nonsense. I, when I play games with my son, who is much better than me at, at game, any type of games, I think his reflexes are a little more refined than mine. But um, just avoid side missions because they are the devil's playground. That's really in the places where they make video games. They're known as the devil's playground division. They're like the side, the people make side mission. So. I just straight run it. I don't. And just what do you need at oh yeah, that's right. It's an interesting observation. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed by that. I'm surprised there hasn't been an article on like Kotaku or whatever. It's like observant female in video game. Although it didn't, I I saw an article about Far Cry about how it didn't it didn't uh, accurately address the problem of cults. 
TBH, I don't think it's the job of a video game to, you know, Bonjour, monsieur. is that the other guy? To Excuse talk about the pathology you. and behind, uh, you know, and the psychology behind being in a fucking cult. Two cents. All right, is that Dutch? Here we go. Get yeah, he's like, Goodbye. Bunch of children. Here we go. I now he's abusing. This is like a typical hurt. abusive relationship. Constant. He's uplifting him. He's giving him some type of like Everybody motivation, promise, followed by abusing him for Apparently getting in a big house abused by kids. We're getting close to Bronte, Good which work. means we're hopefully getting well, close now, to the. Uh, go pay him a visit. To Jack. John, you no one gives a shit about Jack, by the way. Takes, we need uh, to get that boy back. If you if you recall, I was the one I bring him fishing. The kid made a fucking necklace. I'm out there trying to catch trout. No one cared about him, and now he's missing, and I'm running around Flavian Street like a jackass. I love when it turns dark like that, though. And these pictures come, cannot just get me excited. Like less. The swamps or the city. I thought he was gonna say something really Both racist right there. Parasites, reptiles, and slime. Well, we're you didn't disappoint that much. The land we know, and far from real open country. I definitely like the uh, kind of. I'm I'm really enjoying this actually. The city, the city scene, because as cool as the like the wilderness stuff is, and the, um, it just repeats itself. Whereas this has got like a lot more color and depth and... I don't even know what I'm talking... Now I know what it feels like when people are just talking just to talk because I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't even know. I love when people repeat themselves. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know. I don't know. I gotta get a horse. Do I still have my horse with me? My trusty horse? I gotta name this fucking thing. I've been with it for a while now. Is he out of range? Oh, here he comes. Look at him just walking along, trotting. Look at him. Hey, what's up? How's it going? I was just hanging out around the corner. What kind? That's that. That would be the best horse. You could just go wherever the fuck you wanted. Totally different states. And you just you call. And there he is. Alright, let's do kindness. kindness. Do you know where I've been? Do you know what's happened to me? Alright, let's do this. Slow down, will you? Here we go. Yeah, I like I like the city. It's very neat. I don't wanna stay here forever though. I just hopefully they they heard that, not the people, my, me watching myself. I mean, like, hopefully the, uh, hopefully the developers know that, like, people don't want to get stuck. That's what happened with that Far Cry game. I was just fucking driving around for weeks, and <clears throat> the scenery was too, uh, like, similar. Ah, the Bertha Jazz. Here we go. Up oh, another one of the is this a park or like a plantation again? I really got a lot of satisfaction out of burning those plantations. Is that fucking there you again? Are. Why you couldn't we done this when we just saw each other like three minutes ago well, in the other place? <sighs> Everything with Dutch is really complicated. Again, the underlying idea here is if you were to take this if you were gonna take uh, something away from this is these people are not your friends. They're trouble. What? Yeah, why not? Alright. This shot that I guarantee. Better like this. Cool. You're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur. So everyone just relax. All right. So Bronte. Trust me. This the place. <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. The. 
I'm just overwhelmed, Connor, by by this whole thing, to be honest with you. I feel like this is a good, as you get older, you should play video games as a way to keep your... I, stuff that I don't even know about. Your wiring working. You never know what you're going to get with Dutch. Like you never know, because... Sometimes he's cool and oh, measured in his decisions and the way he acts, and then other times he's just super ridiculous like this. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. Yeah, there we go. You see, that's what I'm saying. Bronte's a serious dude. Uh, so I do think that Dutch did played it right because no, there boys. there was no get into this place. We just need to there is a no. couple of things out with your boss. Oh my gosh. All right, well. <laughs> the mandolin. First mandolin of the game. I like it. Buffoni. Buffoni. Why do you take his son? Excuse me. He wasn't really even a good dad. I, said, I took him fishing. Why did you take? I was the one who took him son. fishing. I'm just saying. We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, <laughs> why is he using the "nor" with a guy who's before it's done? Second language is English. Nor. So. You walk into my city, stinking right. of shit, and look mm -hmm. like this. I just actually and fell in it. My house and apples, so it was like a double whammy. And you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to you... breathe in my presence? They, st they stole the feel of that from the opening to The Godfathers. Like, I... Asked you to show me now, this, you showed me a dick instead. I think that was a lot, right? It's fucking scary movie. It's like it really hits you in the beginning. It's like I asked for and respect. And you I asked you to show me your penis. Son. You said no. Over I like, Whoa! I wasn't expecting this. I don't know that type that of Godfather. Jesus. Got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. I don't want to be one of these jerks. Okay, all right. And you just answered my question. Innocent, Good uh, well, job on the screenplay, which I mentioned sure we the other day was uh, 2,000 pages. What loser wrote that? Twist words. But I was going to say, shamelessly. You think you are what was the connection else? between the plantation chick and <laughs> this dude, but <laughs> he was the, the one who was in charge of the liquor <laughs> racket? <Angela> <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn, uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, they These guys are John out Marsh. of their <laughs> Old mine, please. element. <laughs> this is like the 1899 version of a uh, Bronx Tale when the bikers so, go into the bar. Can my friend? No, have his son? no, no. Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course, I know you. Uh, know out of that, pocket. Huh? No. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. Jeez. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. No, that is he a fine like place that. for it. The best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. Oh, uh, we got new <laughs> people we can't trust. It's just like a continuous story of... Thing is, this getting is involved man, with of course, terrible people. So maybe you it's like, let's. Off. How can we level up? Let's just find and a guy with a fucking. Let's Mr. trade this out. Let's find a guy with a really fancy hat I'm who's terrible. And let's get involved with him. <laughs> let's kind of speculate that he's got a bunch of money that we're not so, going to get, and then we'll move on to the next so chapter. That's really. If someone asked you, like, what's Red Dead Redemption about? You just say, it's a moral tale of these fuck ups. Okay, so who continually the, the objective of the game no, is to I'm find what do increasingly have? deceiving people who are going to fuck us over this is idiotic. oh and also you'll suck you know at the game well not you but me you'll suck so. at the game so you'll just feel terrible about Pretty yourself sure the whole I'm time as you're playing it's real and horses awesome. suck you know, that's the one good thing I went into the car yesterday I hugged the steering wheel after there. this 
Do you trust one it. word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know. And what Dutch has is. trust issues. Listen, That's all I have to say. I think that he's such a distrustful person that it, it, he's, he's such a, lot a lot deficit of trust that he has that trust, but it's for terrible people. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? Like, J Wow would know what I mean. He's okay. He'll be fine. So we're going to the graveyard now. There's people. The necrophiliacs. No, I mean grave robbers. And the they are robbing graves. Must have sent him here so we can get to but Ronte knows One time I was really fucked up. Left to pay him. And much used to him a guy came down the street get this on a horse. What do you do? The and both of those I things were right. real. Me being messed up and the guy coming down uh the street on a horse and when something that magical happens in your life I don't condone the use of any type of you know illegal drugs but when things like that happen everything makes sense because whether or not you were in the state that you were in that still would have happened but when it happens and you're messed up it's like a this way the feeling is just it's magical because you're like Wait a minute. Is there really a fucking guy? With no shirt. He had no shirt on. And coming down the street in a horse. Right. Let's see what's going on. You here. doubt yourself, and then you realize, no, there's really a guy with no. And it wouldn't have happened if you weren't messed up. That's what I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying to say. You understand? Jay Wow would understand. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook him. <laughs> These guys are robbing graves. You don't want to spook him. I mean, I think this is the wrong group of people to, you know, pull up and play a boohoo on. I don't expect anyone to rest in peace when they ain't even buried him in the ground. Is that what you want, Marston? Should we punch them or stab them? You know, spook them with a gun. So you can't go in there. I'm it's interesting. You, you watch my back. How like uh sometimes you can't go in things. He told me to watch your back. Can't oh, we're doing this. Arthur know, said it. You won't care once we get the boy back. Oh, I see someone. Better keep his word. And keep it down. I see someone, and I don't, don't think I'll comes. be able to use. I do not think I'll be able to use any type of uh close fighting combat weapon on them. I don't. Yes, Farrick says stab him. I will. Yes. My S key doesn't work, by the way, which is a pretty well-known thing among the people I travel with. Mainly my daughter and my wife. But people at the radio station make fun of me, too. I. This is my S key. It's... On top of my computer, it's a giant keyboard. So, eventually, uh, I'm gonna raffle. I'm gonna put this up for. Um, so Farrakh says, stab them. All right. Thank you for watching. All right. So where are they? Did I lose? They're. Cl we're closing in on them. What's the dog? Don't tell me the dog's eating bodies. You're gonna have to kill it. He ran away. He knew I was gonna kill him. Someone's he was like, fuck that. Somewhere. Come on. Oh, yeah. Definitely. For sure. I wish the guy, his friend, was just like, well, yeah, there's a lot of bodies, and he wanted to get philosophical. Like, there's a lot of people here. Do you mean living ones or dead ones? It's not the time for this, man. My wife would say something like that. She would say, well, there's just a lot of people here. They're just, like, dead. They're just dead. And she's making fun of me for playing Twitch, okay? All right. Oh, ah. Uh. This is a strange job. Alright, what am I doing wrong? 
There's a lot of graves. My grandfather used to say there's people dying to get in here. He meant the cemetery, and he meant it as if... Well, not as if, but he meant like they're dying to get in there. Get it? <laughs> All I thought about was death when he told me that. Then he died. And now, and now he's in the cemetery, too, so... The joke is, uh, he lived his joke. All right, let's go. This is getting nuts. I was way far away. Did he just cough and burp? Did he just do a cough burp? I told you, it's like, uh, there's a, someone out there who's like a Foley artist who's, you know, citing this as, all right. Citing this as their work. It's like, uh, you play Red Dead Redemption Chapter 4? Did you hear that cough, burp cough? Either the dead are waking up, or uh, somebody's trying to wake them. Oh, hey, man. Over here, get in cover, and we'll bust the door in. Oh, man, they're inside the vault. You boys found my pappy's watching! Let's do it! You should have played Mr. Rot instead of playing with fucking dead bodies, you sick bastard. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like when I also I like that. That's very funny when people get very emotional about like fictional characters. Like, you sick fuck, fucking bits and bites, make believe fucking video game character. Can't see where the My grandfather's buried in a fucking cemetery. Fuck. We sure picked the right night for it. All right, what are we doing? I, I'm, I'm busy talking. This is uh, something I'm gonna have to get used to. Oh, I don't think so, Johnny. Record. Feel like this is like beginning of like one of those eight, 80s like a Michael Jackson like thriller. Thriller would have been so much better if instead of going on a date Michael Jackson and his girl right in the elbow um right Michael Jackson and his girlfriend were <clears throat> hired by a New Orleans crime boss to investigate grave robbers. And as they do, oh, B break. Oh, damn. He got him. That was beautiful. Did you see that? He punched, he gave him an uppercut when the guy was mounted on top of him. I love it. I'll slow down, Arthur. Slow down. I'd like this if, if everything was the same, but Arthur, the cartoon character from PBS, was the main character. So everything the same, and then Arthur. Well, that's. Let's stay on him. Come on. I don't like not having light. My eyes are compromised. The older I get. Yes, I said compromised. Oh, jeez. The more people should just be watching this to laugh at me. That's really what I encourage. Did you see the clip of that guy who was in the fucking cemetery? Dude, that board takes like 25 seconds to complete. Nah, he was there for like 18 minutes. And he was talking about some crazy shit like Michael Jackson. Okay, like, but we'll need to be joke his grandfather used to say. He kept bumping into steel doors. First shot at us from. Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. <laughs> I feel the same way. Friends like these. Like I said. Major, uh... Major takeaway here. Go back to Bronte with nothing to show for oh, I heard you. Let's go back through this alley. Let's find these guys. Friends like these. Not people you want to hang out with. And also, Arthur... Arthur... Has some trust issues as well. He's just. Alright, let's go. Arthur is, uh. He's just one of these people who chooses to hang out with bad people. They continually promise him stuff. And, uh. 
Let's look around where they jumped. I'm going, I'm on my way, but what if there's something that will add to the our case with Bronte? You know what I mean, man? Bronte. Listen, the cool thing you realize these guys try to put stress on you, but the video game is not continuing if you don't act. So you could do whatever the fuck you want. Don't let them pressure you. Don't be like don't be an Arthur. I feel like I can't say that word right, like an author. Don't be an author. Alright. Okay, so now I'm on top of the thing on the map that's telling me to be on top of, and I don't know what's going on. there might be something in here. Oh, a stash. A stash, and not a mustache. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit, it's the law. The the shotgun I have not mastered the shotgun. I just wrote it shotgun, but the shotgun I, I can't shoot it well. <laughs> I can shoot it well. And I'll tell you the reason why. I'll tell you the reason why. I'm not happy with how long it takes to reload. Oh god, there's people there still, so should we go oh there's guards? Of course it's fucking locked. I just bashed into one, man. Alright, so I'm gonna get the shotgun ready. Connor, James, and I'm gonna... Alright, so I'm just gonna do what this guy says. He knows a lot more about this than I do. Okay, we can, like, scale the fence. Uh-oh. Did he say crap? Or did he say come up? Alright. Ooh, I like that guitar string right there. Alright. They're like on top of each other and they're flashing. The map's flashing. Like, I don't know what that means. They're just having like a, a light battle. Sending each other signals. Imagine being a security guard at a cemetery. I, even if there's no such thing as ghost or whatever, you'd you would convince yourself. You would be vi busy convincing yourself that as you're talking yourself out. <laughs> I'm not killing yourself because you gotta be a security guard the night shift in a fucking graveyard. What kind of hell? I think where they have like caste in societies where they have caste uh, caste systems and stuff that's like if you're the lowest caste that's what you do. You have to be a security guard in a desolate place and that's a true thing. That's like a Hindu I'm not a Hindu I don't want to name like different cultures but that's a real thing. That's an ancient text. Yeah. Alright let's go. I like the fact that this guy is guiding me along with this because, but of course he's gonna bone it up and then it's gonna be on me. This I got pretty good at actually. Let's go. Um, from the plantations. That I should finish that thought. I just see that one clip is like, I learned when I was on the plantations, I learned this one thing. What the? F what is this guy talking about? I don't know. He worked on plantations, so I would stay away from him. And it's 2018, which is weird. Anything out of context can be weird. That's what I'm trying to say. I learned that from Dutch. I kind of did a summer, a summer internship in a graveyard night shift. <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. All right. I, it wasn't revealed really what we what we needed to do with the stash, though, right? I mean, like what was in the stash that's gonna help us not seem like just kind of scumbags. I want Bron to accept me, actually. Here we go. You all right? You With the the sermon, the pros is. proselytizing. I hate that word. I don't think anyone's ever used it right, mainly because it's just not a word that should be used. I'm all for freedom of speech. I'm all for that, but we should outlaw certain words. Like we throw cheese out that smells bad. We get rid of milk. 
we get rid of things that have no use, yet we allow words to remain way after their sell-by date. All right. Should I worry about horse, horse cargo? I can't speak, actually. <laughs> this is... Oh, wrong way, see? I have... Sense, I, my, my senses are completely demolished from this game. I've used demolish like three times. I'm trying to run. All right. Ooh. Now we're boys, huh? Now the guy's like sitting. I said, you took your time. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. But a fine man. Hey, friend. Thank that was easy. For right. everything. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> that was pretty. It wasn't you know terrible. What? Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> Here we go. And us, just simple. Here boys. we go. This is what's gonna happen. We're gonna get. Um, so we got a couple of things to do. I like that the missions are becoming clear. <clears throat> um, before I spent a some good, why do I keep doing that? I know I'm being watched, that's why. By, by myself. Um, I spent too much time, well, we're just going right there now, but, um, I spent too much time before there was, this is one thing I don't like. I just want to point something out here. That ne this is not how geography works. It's too drastic. Uh, in that chapter, we went from here. We had to go back, I think, to Valentine or Strawberries. Oh, no, to, to Valentine. And you came through this valley in, like, the deep south. And the next thing you know, the like, the Rocky Mountains were there. My only complaint to the game, if I had to write an article for Vice or something like that. Yeah, you um, love it. The, Let's get this boy back to his mother. All right. You sure you're okay, son? No one thanked me for bringing the kid fishing. Papa I'm fine. Remember the time that you brought me fishing? I'm, I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. He had a great time. With a big bed and a yeah, now he has to go hang out with you poor bastards. Where are we staying now? Oh, an, an old confederate, uh, an old house that's run down, and the uh, prior owners still thought the Civil War was going on, and so they formed a militia that would eventually transpire into the KKK. So, I'm really happy to be back. I'm happy you're back. Do you want to go fishing with Arthur, since he's the only person who pays attention to you? One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad Jesus you're Christ. Right. Oh, yes. Now we're going to be, we're going to go on a stealing rampage. This, the story's going to change. It's going to be about Dutch's insecurities sure being did. exposed by a small boy who know. he can't afford to get two pairs of slippers for. You're going to say something. You a nice night, then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks oh. a fine bar. It's not this. On? It's not that usual that he so quickly takes disliking to the people who will soon become. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I was listening to records while you were watching people rob dead bodies. <laughs> you know, it's all this talk about AI and stuff when it does. Finally, the technology catches up. I hope they start to realize the behavior of the gamer and the ga who the gamer really likes or not. But Dutch is really cruising for a bruising. That's what I'm saying. Too bad I can't set my sights on him, if you know what I mean. Like, the sights from my gun. That's what I mean. Welcome back, John. Here's where you're staying now. It's like when people. Oh, that's something. I, I got nerve. I had flashbacks from when I had to go here the first time. Ambushed by an army of militiamen. Vicious militiamen. 
<laughs> convinced that the war between the states <laughs> was still going on. We showed them. They're you living in the him. lagoon now. You got <sighs> Dutch, Thank you. Thank oh, please. I got my son back. Jack, Jack, Good. Jack. How Don't say it too boy? loud because we're outlaws. Fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. How'd you find them? Abigail. Someone was yelling. They got their son back. <sighs> so, well, two you people. Met Mr. Two people. Me. He is a uh, Connor O'Brien, maybe. Is he now? You it, have uh, an Italian and strong me. man before. Thank you. <sighs> Not outside you of. You could sign off too. Don't but feel bad. I I enjoy you all being alone. John, <laughs> but be it's crazy. Arthur. Thousands of people Thank watching you. Twitch. And, uh, Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work, but first let's have a drink. Watching. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Everyone's getting emotional. I don't I'm know if I'm down with this. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Here we go. The adults are going to have a party at the expense of John. Meanwhile, if you were supervising the child, uh, he wouldn't have been kidnapped. There we go. Let's get John drunk. Nice. All right. I'm going to sit down for this one. I've been working hard. <laughs> I sat down right away and said leave, which is what I was thinking. Look at Uncle. He's like a, a typical white guy when someone's playing music that they don't know. They're like pretending they like it. Like, oh, it's kind of weird, you know? Yeah, look. God. Singing again. Have you ever heard of Jimmy Buffett? Margaritaville, you ever hear that song? I like that. Can you play that next? You don't know the chords to it. This guy doesn't know how to play Margaritaville. He's not a real guitar player. See, ignored. Ignored now. No one needs me. Completely ignored by everyone. So this is a new camp. I guess we're probably staying outside because we're just thoroughly creeped out by what was went down in that house. I'm, I've made a promise to myself that I'm not contributing that much anymore to the box because when I look at the ledger I'm the only fucking person who's uh, been giving money so again this is why do I keep doing why do you keep doing that why alright so is this this whole, oh no that's okay so we're there what's going on in St. D <laughs> that doesn't sound good have you seen St. D? Uh, no, I don't want to. I want to unmark that. Wow, this is my channel. There should be millions of people watching it. It's like, like, uh, middle-aged man tries to play video game, and then he'd be like, "Did you see him try to access the map? Did you see it? It was hysterical. He, he put a waypoint on a street. There wasn't even anything there. Did you see that?" Alright, what should I do now? Health supplies. <sighs> All this stuff. Drinking. Uh, provisions. I know. Come on, man. We don't need any of this shit. Let's see if we... Alright. Alright, nonsense. See, and this is what happens is I had just commented uh, on the fact that I don't have to... Uh, I didn't spend a lot of, like, time looking for other things to do. Like, it just kind of happened. But... The second I said it, maybe not the second, but you know what I mean. A few minutes later, now I'm just wandering around aimlessly. Okay, I've I familiarized myself with the camp. These two are gossiping. Like, well, I heard he said that, uh, you know, 
I don't know why I have to s sleep so close to lose Loon. I think that's ridiculous, in my personal opinion. Uh, they're unavailable for other activities for a while. You know what? I gotta go to sleep. They're just constantly celebrating these people. That's really maybe one reason why. Yeah, where's my room? Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle Jose. Well, fucking act like you went to war or something, please. Thank you, Connor, for watching. Thank you for watching. Have a great day tomorrow. I will be on here all the time, I'm quitting my life to do this. I'll just uh, hang out with my kids and play Twitch. Well, I don't think you know where you're going with that. Um, but I will be on um, until I get at least 10 followers. Then I'll, then I'll quit. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Where is my bed? Oh, here we go. With the faith. Where is my bed? Okay. They, what they want me to do is they want me to go into St. Denis, and it's not happening. I'm not going there without a purpose. Time is money. And I don't care if you're living in some virtual 20th, 19th century world um, or not. Time is still money. That's the truth. That's the truth. All right. Someone's name definitely doesn't have anything to do with my life. How you doing? I like when people just talk to themselves, like, metacognitively. Like how I did that, metacognitively. But they talk like, like, looking at this. I'm not gonna, what is this right here? Is this a bottle? I don't think so. How you doing? It's got no purpose in my life, whatever. So there's just like a, a, a fluid channel, conduit of, without any barrier. A dam that's been broken between their thoughts and the rest of the world. You got anything for me? No, he's reading a book. He's got his glasses on. I don't know, fucking, I would never wear those goddamn glasses. Get the fuck out of here. There's one walking in there. And you can't run here because it's like built on a swamp. Oh, they just want me to sit everywhere. Do you want to talk? Just cleaning. No, nothing. She has nothing to say. Ask me a little fool and thinking it no harm. Now we've got. All right, the party's got to end. I don't want to be the uh, Debbie Downer here, but we have work to do. I'm just happy to have the boy back safe. Oh my God! Ain't nobody ever gonna take him again. I think everyone's getting a little dramatic about this, and without kind of taking into account their own personal responsibility for why it happened in the first place. Okay, please send me, send me. I was gonna say send me an angel. That's a song from the '80s. Send me an angel. But, um. Oh, there's bounties on the outskirts of town. Sounds like a Bruce Springsteen song. Speaking of songs. Um. Alright, so I guess we're just gonna have to go. Let's get a suit. I got $3,000 in my pocket. Fuck that. And I'm not contributing anymore, so I think it's the perfect thing to do is get a suit. I just look a little more. St. Dennis, where's my horse? With being so realistic, re realism comes at a price. That's a very philosophical idea. And I know maybe the me that's watching me might have a problem comprehending it. But with realism comes a price. And one of the fucking prices is this. A horse is a horse in a video game. In real life, there's different types of horses. I'm not going to pretend I know what kind of horses there are. But in a video game, a horse is a horse. Of course, it's not a horse, and it's someone else's horse, in which case you can't ride it. This is can sometimes contribute to uh, just a waste of time. That's what I'm trying to say, and this is, this is why Far Cry turned me off. Yeah is because I wasted, look, now, oh, Hosea, oh no. This guy is the worst. 
he is the I, I I'm gonna say it over and over and over and over again Hosea is he's bad friend because he is the type of dude who seems extremely intelligent potentially a sociopath even though they haven't marked that type of language yet so I you mean to tell me I just had to oh whoa that's going on the Jose is a ghost, yo. Alright, I gotta get some water. What do you need, Arthur? ominously staring at me waiting okay so let's see what Jose has got going on what's going on Jose. homie hey, tell me the next terrible thing you want on. me to do for you if we're gonna make it to this party we sure as shit better clean up a little so we're doing hmm? this oh yeah old friend Dutch van der Linders finally showing his true colors social climbing <laughs> old senor Bronte <laughs> that horrendous <laughs> thing has invited us to the ball Cinderella so my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. All right. Here we go. Hanging out with Jose again. Love it. People watched. Some people watched this. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. 
There can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make I don't know real how to wait. contact. I don't know how to wait for Jose to. to we can. All I know for sure. I had to leave. To a party at the mayor's house, and the it's like sometimes you need to leave in, in order sure to realize how important today. things are. Is that what that's supposed to mean? But I had to leave the fucking encampment during John Boy's party Gentlemen, in order to. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions. Ooh, after last we're in, year's not in Kansas anymore. Literally, some place like more well, Kansas, but you know what I mean. Look here, we'll take you to Mr. Bronte. There's law and order in New, New Orleans. Follow me, gentlemen. Not something or Saint Denny. I'm starting to like Denny instead of Dennis. Makes me feel. Like, I don't know how to pronounce S's. That's what it makes me feel like. That I was going to see, say, sophisticated. Here we go. So, as long as the man behaves himself, no weapons. Anytime outlaws in any type of... This is like a storytelling... Hack here. Anytime an outlaw goes into a ball thrown by a city official, it tells you a few things. One of the things is that there's corruption within the local municip municipality. So it, the crime goes deeper than one suspected. It's not just the um, the crime boss, the local wise guy running stuff. It goes into all the way into the anals. And the annals. It's another word that should be banned because it's never used properly, right? And it just sounds like you're propositioning someone to do some nasty shit. Nasty people here, too. Did someone say just a slow drift? A slow drift. Oh my god. That was the most non violent way I've ever died in this game. Uh, the escort was abandoned. Okay, so I should shut up and listen to what's expected of me before I'm able to actually uh, do two things at once. Alright, let's see what's going on. Uh, this away, please, gentlemen. Uh, Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, with a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante. Okay. Friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know. Mr. Brante, he has a, the thing, you know. Ah, oh, again. I just wanted to experience non-violent death in this game twice. That's why that happened. That's why that happened. That's why that happened. Uh, this away, please, gentlemen. Uh, Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. I should get off my phone. This is. Uh, with a beautiful evening, it shall be. Mr. Bronte is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor, All right, let's go. Go. What happened to the run button? You join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. Oh, okay. I went the wrong way before. That's what happened. <laughs> I'm supposed to go with. Go meet Senor. So is this City Hall? This is quite a City Hall. This does look like the downtown City Hall in beautiful NYC. And I'm sure multiple City Halls around the lower 48. So dramatic the way he opens the door. Ooh, I'm gonna fall through the door. Hey, I like that name. Thank you, sir. Finally, someone acknowledged that I'm an angry. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. 
Like that one. See that hey, wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything look at for him. a dollar, and I mean... All I do is point a cigar at him, and he shits his pants. Business. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he... And a shoe store. Too and spoil himself. <laughs> he also sells, uh... Novelty oh, military oh, regalia. That is Hobart Crowley. <laughs> a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, hero, they say, but that is his... Hobart. His very young wife. That's I mean, a name I don't have sympathy if you... Yes, that's a name that I feel allergic to, scene. Hobart. <laughs> oh, oh, Last night, <laughs> Hamish, I liked that name. I felt I bad. no sympathy for them. Because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no? <laughs> they get oh. what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, hand a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> <laughs> This guy's that, calling it like it is. It is, is brutal, Hector though. Fellows, mm. This self-righteousness, paper is, man. Maybe, uh, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such. Not in cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, you well, only I'm kill some people. You don't kill can, all uh, the people. Within reason. You choose who yeah, you want to kill and who you don't want to kill? Interesting. Okay. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not dead. None taken. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. anytime someone nervous oh, laughs like that around you, <laughs> you're in trouble. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. He just called him a bunch of jerk off or something like that. How you, you doing? I, I just fucking waved my cigar. I want to kill you, you cocksucker. Whatever. Yes, yes, yes. Go enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> oh. Those sure were the days. Good day, oh. gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money... Yes. Of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in this. He probably owns the freaking thing. This is with but guys you, like this. As a guest, yes. As they my set guest, you up to do it, things huh? that you might not want to <laughs> okay, do good otherwise. Day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ragazzi. Adesso il vino buono. <laughs> That was just something directed at us. If you'll kindly follow me. What is that thing? Let's go, let's go. Uh oh, why did he lock that door? Interesting. Someone with a finer mind than myself would inquire. But at this moment, I am just Dutch's escort. Gentlemen, and I mean that enjoy in your evening strictly and platonic and way. More of a bodyguard. All right, so who are we Gentlemen, gonna befriend? Let's go ingratiate ourselves. All right, it's good enough. It was good enough ho hookup, to be honest with you, just to meet the, uh, okay. be able to kind of like scope out who different people are. I hope we don't have to talk to any of these, all of these people. Oh God, here we go. Oh God, if you have an Jesus, she's a definitely someone who wild one because she wants a drink big enough to swim in it. All right, what am I supposed to do? Was it just dancing? Ooh. I guess go see the mayor. Why won't you talk to me? Just insulting me regarding the Redskin. I did no such thing. But, Mr. Lemieux, why is everyone I making fun of them? That all of us, as Americans, had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to San uh, Denis. What are you, a liberal? That's the new, there ain't, that's like a bad like thing, you, right? But he would try to make it so. It's I like you're a terrible person. Idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> I will deny your you idiocy. Drunk, you <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. Ooh. Hello. Hello. Get your hands off me. 
Where am I bringing him? Where am I bringing him? To the back of the garden. Walk through a pole. Let me walk through this table. Oh, no, but I can't walk through a chair. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Sure. Man. That's the first time man was used in that context. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Thousand. You can rejoin the party. Now I think that he has this is this is how Dutch ingratiates himself amongst the crowd. Threatens. There we go. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Only called it. Good. Called it. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> All it's right. not mine. Stop and kissing the city his ass. It's horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? I'm Lord. The writer? Well, we yeah. seem to have another deranged. No, that's Arthur Miller, and he's not born yet. Shall we? <coughs> 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 Dutch has never seen fireworks before. Uh, Monsieur, please. Even a hardened man Mr. is all struck quite insistent, I'm by uh, he down the telephone for sophistication of modernity. And a bad horse. Although fireworks aren't a modern invention, we have evidence of them in China go back at least 5,000 years. Yes. Just want to let you know that. What? Did he say something about a cornhole? Now I'm just fucking saying ridiculous jokes. That's the guy I'm thinking. My game logic is getting better. Like I'm guessing this is the dude because because he yeah because there's a yellow dot in front of him. Sorry. But I managed to get myself turned around somehow. Don't mind me. Not a problem, sir. Please enjoy the rest of the evening. All right. Where's the servant? All right, let me get it back up here. That's the servant, the yellow. And we're going back upstairs. We're going to that room upstairs, I think. I think we're going upstairs. Maybe not. Maybe not. Where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? What are you supposed to do with your life? What are you supposed to do? I see. And again, that is the third time I was non-violently killed in this game. And so, although I'm a little flustered and frustrated because I'm unaware of what my task is, um, I'm happy that I was killed in a peaceable way. Alright, so, I'm going to go over here, talk to this guy, right? He's going to say... What are you doing? What, are you, what the fuck do you want? But then after that, I'm gonna follow the servant. Looking for something, sir? Uh, actually, it's funny. I'm supposed to get out of sight of the servant so that he continues with his duties. Can you help me with that? No, you can't because you're a computer. Okay. Oh, everyone's still amazed by fireworks. Everyone's like, I could go there and just blow the top off them. Check this out. It's a microwave. Check this out. It's microwavable popcorn. What's this? I can't believe it's not butter. Oh, what's that guy doing? Uh, what's that? This is a discount card. You could use it after you purchase. Oh, stay back from the servant to make sure you're not spotted. Oh, I just have to follow him. Fourth nonviolent death. I feel like I'm tipping the scales in the right direction. A good argument for the validity of video games. Um, are there people on here? Are there people watching this? Uh, who, who should we invite to the stream? Strandberg? Is Strandberg watching? That's fun. How you doing, dude? I'm just jamming. Perpet trying to figure out ways to this is like my version of getting a motorcycle alright so I just have to follow him and stalk him 
Oh, what is that? Those are things that have existed well documented in China for very long. The servant will notice you if you get too close. I've noticed you've been getting too close to me. I have. It's just that ever since I've moved to this city and I've experienced nonviolent death. Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he knows. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, it's because he owns the fucking town. Thank you, Mr. Terry. He owns this town. Alright, I'm still gonna follow him. So they all know so basically Bronte is just in charge. Eavesdrop, eavesdrop, eavesdrop. The mayor said he will sign later. People already complaining about phones. It keeps being Let me show you out. Oh darn it. All right, let's do this. Now that I've got it down, I know what to do. I'm good at the shooting and all this type of stuff. I'm not good at it, but I mean, at least I know what to do, you know? It's like you bring a shotgun to a sword fight. But this this type of stuff here, hey. you got me stumped when it comes to this. All right, let me stay away from this joker. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. This guy's complaining about the telephone. You know how many people? I just got robbed by a kid. He was trying to buy bread for his family. And you're complaining about the telephone. Show a little gratitude. Run! Why can't I run? Oh, I'm way too close. Okay, I'm going there now. Please. No, I'm sorry. I just had to pee, but I took a wrong left. I apologize. Yep. <laughs> Whoa! That was the most, like, high school, like, fuck the world exit I've ever experienced. That was great, Arthur. Arthur's coming into his own. Hello. It's the holding call fields of 1899, St. Denise. What are you looking at, girl? I got a dirty look from her. She gave me a dirty look. I'm gonna, he's like, I'm out of here. Oh, God. So many people should watch me play because I could be the laughing stock of Twitch, the village idiot. What do we got going on here? What do we got? There's me. I'm watching myself. I'm so proud of myself. Yes, sir. No. Okay, so you can beat the shit out of anyone in this game. So it's not just the suffragists. I spoke about this earlier. I said, I said, you know, Vice and places like this do a good job politicizing video games. But this this game, I think they actually did try to do a good job talking about some of the social issues. Right before you came in, we just had an issue uh, where I broke up a racist conversation. By attempting to break someone's wrist. Have you lost your mind? Oh. oh. I said, have you lost your mind? Now, I don't know what's going to happen with this guy, but Come I want to hurt him now the way that he's talking to the help. Look at me. Unionization. See? Don't hit her. Look Do not. At me. Oh, what a piece of shit. Think you are? Yep. Yep. This area is not See? For the likes of you. You know this. No, sir. Yeah, well, because you're the boss, and morale is down, warning. and you won't let us unionize, and I had to work last Sunday, and you withheld pay. You also locked me in once. Those are some of the reasons why. Oh. Oh. All right, no, so he's going. We're good. That guy's really a jerk. Oh, where's he going? Where is he going? I'm getting stuck again. I'm going to turn all gray. Oh, jeez. Arthur, don't blow it. Don't blow it, Arthur. Am I going the right way? Am I going the right way? This is what I ask myself every morning when I wake up. Am I going the right way? And then I walk into the kitchen when I meant to walk into the bathroom. This guy really has the... He really is the master of the house. So just for those of you who are wondering, we've got... Please don't come back down the stairs. Please don't come back down the stairs. Okay, so. Alright, what do 
What are we doing? Let's look in here. Inspected. Ooh. Always conveniently a letter opener. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Ooh. Oh, the Not case the and the plot thickens. Extremely confidential. Ooh, if Leviticus lets very us know, but he's very interesting because Leviticus, if you re recall, speaking to myself now, um, Leviticus uh, is putting a lot of money into the Pinkertons, yet he has some. Uh, he's got some dealings with the mayor of Saint Denis. He also now. Should I still call this Jack? No. He also now is um, who this, the mayor of Saint Denis is involved with the mafia. So I am strictly confused. I see where this is going as far as like a. Alright, here we go. Yes, back. How do you do, sir? Good, excellent. Oh, the music comes in louder. That's always a good sign. That's a good sign. And we have completed the mission, I believe. Possibly. Possibly. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Sounds about right. What's going on? Yeah. Everyone's just hanging around. I wonder if we if we calculated the Hello, hours sir. spent human history of just people having to go into shitty parties pretending they're liking them and just standing around in strange circular patterns Hello, rocking sir. back and forth here he is d-bag dutch Fine. that's what i call him i think so there we go manipulative no. as usual jeff daniels is not impressed is of time. maybe not i think maybe not gentlemen is Isaiah. he's gonna put together the pieces here three times already has promised to be good. The only thing he's been able to do is cash in the bonds. Got a thousand dollars from them. Meanwhile, I had a gold nugget in my a gold bar in my pocket that was worth more the whole time. Did I tell the gang that? Absolutely not. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about. And I heard about Dutch. Poker game. Come on. All right, so we've got like three, maybe potentially new things. The high stakes poker game sounds good, but I'm not playing. I'm giving it up. I suck. I thought I sucked at poker in real life. You should see when I play it in this game. Here comes Lenny. But All I right. will rob him. Let's get in. On principle Go home. only. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All the oh. folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. No. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. There's the Dutch just says things that make no <sighs> sense. It's it's happening more, take this. more and more often. So. More of a frequent rate. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Here we go. Idea number 67 for... Dutch Vander idea. I love any time the screen gets black like this because it means that something's going to happen or I'm just going to be dropped off in the middle of nowhere and I have no clue. Yep. <laughs> no clue what to do. Interesting Why don't you stay time. in the outfit? I guess. So what's next? Dancing I woke up at someone just at interesting times. Are you talking about robbery. the dream I just had? Is, is it still a dream? Bank. Did he something crazy him? happen in the world that I'm unaware of? How the law reacts. Good. Oh, okay. and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here, Put out a the couple Indian of feelers. Yeah, I met him too. With the See, you want to point he out that, you know, again, people constantly we could help. expecting now, video games to solve the problem, problems problems of the world or talk money. about and for Lonnie, social issues, but Rockstar, I think, so far has done a good job addressing some of the injustices that happened throughout the We're centuries, particularly the, the turn home? of the century, the turn of the 19th to 20th exactly. century, in this game. And but so just because it. someone beat a suffragist stuff, I mean, go I could go fuck a priest up in this game. It doesn't mean it's an anti-Christian okay. game or Catholic game. So that's just that's just my two cents. 
There's four people on here now. Please stay. Just stay. It would make me so happy. I know that sounds pathetic and attention-seeking and crazy, but I've been literally hanging out with Arthur the entire time. I can't even get off the top of this fucking porch. All right? How do you think I feel? And then on top of it, I, I've got morning, like Arthur. three computers open, so really there's one person in here right now. It's just three computers right here. Three computers right here. Does anyone remember Crazy Eddie? Crazy Eddie. He was a guy who he uh, he owned a like a Best Buy type of store in the tri-state area in the 80s. He says Crazy Eddie. Anyway, he was convicted of some type of fraudulent activities, and he jetted to Israel. Ran all the way to Israel, and the way they caught him was they they would put and the FBI got him. Huge tax evasion case, but the way that they got him is that they planted these <laughs> these women uh, pick up a hay bale. Okay, yeah, cool. That's what I want to do. What did you do last night? I streamed on the internet. I'm 39 years old. I streamed and I picked up a hay bale. Um, no reason. Jack. Meanwhile, he's hanging out in a field, and Jack's hanging out in a field. He was just kidnapped. Anyway, Crazy Eddie was this guy who. Um, the way that they got him was they knew he was like had a a weakness for uh, blonde women. So they kept um, putting a blonde women along the road where kind of where he lived, pretending they were hitchhiking, and uh, and he picked them up. And once he picked them up, he kind of divulged his. Um, can I drop this fucking thing yet? Jesus Christ. I'm getting itchy. I'm allergic to hay. This isn't even a real hay, but... Um... That's how I got him. He... He holds his identity to these wo to this woman who they picked up. I don't know what made me thought, think of that. Other than I was acting a little crazy. And I'm using electronics. But Crazy Eddie used to have these crazy commercials. Look at this guy. Last night okay. he was singing like a maniac. You seem well, Reverend. I think he, yes. he hit it a little too well, hard. To be honest with maybe you. I've been okay before, but then I make a fool. I don't want to play TV. Again. So did oh I. God, the alcoholic hate with this town. guy. So did oh, I. Oh my God. If I was still a, a religious man, I'd say there are too many Catholics there, but I. I've given this up guy that. is constant yeah. self-hatred. He Reverend. follows you around. And he just apologizes for his life. All right, Mary Beth, please. I'm just trying to get out of this conversation with uh, with the Reverend. Is there any purpose to this conversation, Reverend? No, there hasn't been for four chapters. Hello, Mary Beth. Hey, Mary. Hi, uh, how are you? Thank you so much for saving me from talking to the Reverend. This guy keeps apologizing. I don't even know what he did. He doesn't like the Catholics. He doesn't like these people. He doesn't know what the fuck's going on. for joining this band of maniacs if you're a girl without means in this world life is very scary you boys care for me before no one cared for me well that's deep nice, that's Arthur. like god i, I cared for you before typhoid. anyone that cared for you ago. sure what about you i cared for I you before you caring mary girl <laughs> was yeah. caring and Ooh, we're gonna get a little. Thinking how that all ended. Long time ago. Is that the woman that he? No, that's not. What happened? <laughs> oh, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Ooh, Arthur. I wouldn't change. Surprised. Huh. Well, she was a fool. Surprised he's so Arthur. needy, to be well, honest with you. She put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in that's... reality, I I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. This what? one's constantly yelling. By them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? Oh, please they don't, don't tell me. Don't yeah, that's what I was going to say, because I do not want to go to, like, to another world Die. or another state. Do we need I wish it was that easy. Like, I drive I to New Jersey, and the next thing you know, I'm, there's a mountain Where range. I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Don't ever do that in real life. If someone tell they won't tell you where they're going and they tell you on the way, might be driving you to a shallow grave or something like that. No. 
She's at a place called Brad Not to bury you in it. Maybe they killed someone already and there's, the, you know, I'm just when saying. Here, it's a rule of thumb, well known, that if someone can't tell you where they're going, don't go with them time. until they tell you. Can you told that? No. I don't even listen to these people anymore. They definitely are like family. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know oh. what happened? She killed one of them for good reason, but Ooh. clearly they, oh, they got back at her. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. Young Tilly but Jackson like sounds like the defending herself. title she of a murder ballad. Felling with us right after that. I just Young hope Tilly Jackson. It's not too far. If they touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will oh. eviscerate the sons of bitches. Anyway, talking That's extreme. disappear. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay. I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Uh, she's gonna eviscerate them. Kind, sir. She's and gonna eviscerate not. people. In need of some help. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman gonna... such as yourself could be mighty kind. Ooh, is she trying to seduce? Is she using the ancient art of seduction? Dude. Oh shit. She just. Oh my god. She just killed the dude. What the hell? Yeah, right. The lock breaking. That door just eerily closed. Let's break that lock. Hey, in there! Yes. You know what? That kind of annoys me. You, you gotta. You can sometimes. You can sometimes shoot someone 16 times and they don't die, and I just hit the guy with the butt of my gun and he's dead. Okay. Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? <sighs> he went out hunting or something. There were five of them. Oh, I'm going to wait for this guy. Well, we killed those fellas there. I love how Dutch does, like, the walk backwards thing. Very. Oh, this is a nice. I like that horse. I want that horse. Yeah, okay. That's what got you in the situation in the first place. Where am I going? What am I doing with my life? The two main questions that I will have until time immemorial. All right, that's him dealt with. Oh. Threat indicator. Oh. And that's it. It indicated it's, it went through the trouble of saying Let distant. Catch up with them. The distant enemies. You've got a couple more seconds to regret what you did. Does that mean you'll let me go? Yeah, she is. She is. No. No. Oh, I'm supposed to shoot too? I'm supposed to do everything in this game. Thankful group of people. Thankless, I mean. Alright, I think that last one's the boss. Last of women. Oh, it did. Tilly. Go on. Throw that bastard. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Yes. Yes, do it, Tilly. That is. Come on. Get him, Arthur. I will no, get him get in about 30 minutes from now. We'll get him in about 30 minutes from now. I got him! Now make sure you tie him up before you do it. me like a damn steer! Look what we got here! Oh, steer! A steer! Make these nice and tight. 
All right. You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice all right. little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. Do We're not tell me I have to walk this guy back because oh, I'm already out of shape. Uh, I've got a couple of injuries. Step, you have the first idea what you're getting into. Oh, oh, are you, oh, thanks for the introduction, Are you kidding me? I was hanging out with Bronte last night. I was at the mayor's house last night. Were you there? I don't think so. I don't. She didn't yes. tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Wow. This rope is Who's she? cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you going to do with me? I ain't sure yet. That's not a Reckon I let Tilly decide promise. That's a threat. I mean, that's not a threat. That's a promise. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I yeah, you know what? Like I oh! I you just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a bitch. Watch your mouth. The, hell? the punch and uh, horse and punch thing at the same time. You just realize how uh, superior these cowboys were. In brutality to the person today. I mean, this is my version of brutality. I'm playing a fucking video game. It feels sinful. Not... Oh. Did he just try to get. Did he just try? Did he just try to knock us off the horse? And this house seems much further away than it was. Oh, out of whistling range. We're on a road. There's cows. You should be able to come here. There's no excuse. You picked me up in a fucking alleyway the other day. There's no reason why you can't get here. Where am I going? Oh, man. You're gonna pay for this. Where's the god damn? Map. I need the map. I need the map. Where am I supposed to go? This is nuts. I can't even believe this. If you're that, whoever you are, that other person that's watching me, go tell everyone on Twitch. There's a guy on a channel. He doesn't even know how to find where he's supposed to go. And I know you're probably thinking, follow the red fucking thing. Follow the red fucking thing. My horse won't. My horse won't come. It picked me up in an alley the other day, and now it's and now it's unable to. Get me every time, me go and you down. and I, I was at the mayor's house last night. You weren't. I'm not really concerned about you hunting me down. I just want to establish that right now. Okay. I like when people say "k" at the end of a sentence. Okay. Okay. Mayor's house. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. This is, I'm not, I'm not feeling this music, actually. There's been some really good, last night there was some really good music. There was some really good music. That's like when someone tells you something that you think, they think is going to change your life. There's some really good, there's some really good food at that restaurant. Oh my God. Thank you for letting me know. That's changed everything. There's some really good music. There was some really good music in Chapter 3. There really was. There really was some good... Oh, that's some good music there. Just go on across this type of bridge. I don't know what type of bridge this is. First one in the game. I've never been able to go through one of these myself. I've always been afraid that they're going to fall over. And on top of it, most of the ones that I've seen, you're not allowed to go over. But, had they given me the option, I preempted the decision that I wouldn't. Where am I going? The again. Uh, where is the horse? Alright, this is... I'm not even going where I'm supposed to be going. This is nuts. Why did that horse run away? My feelings are hurt. That's another thing that's happening as I get 
more into this game that I'm finding that I'm getting resentful towards some of the characters, like I'm holding grudges. Um, and my feelings are getting hurt easier. Easier. Ooh, flamingos. Flamingos or flamencos? Which one is the correct usage? Leave a comment below. Oh, there's the house. I turned right when the house was there. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Someone said, pick up the hay bale. Are you itchy? My wife. Is she watching upstairs? Just watching upstairs. This isn't even the fucking house. It's not even the house. Oh my god. This isn't even the house. Shoot me in the face. That's not even a house. Damn. Oh. Where am I supposed to go? I feel like I'm lost right now. I mean, I am lost right now, but I mean, I feel like that feeling when you're lost somewhere. That's what I feel like. Boom, 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 boom. See, this is what really deters me from wanting to play games like this. Is I get myself in a pickle, straight up pickle, and then and I just don't want to play because. I'm in the expanded already, which means it's miles away. I've noticed that too, that like sometimes you're way further away than you think. Coming up on the two hour mark. I'm gonna have to call it QT. <laughs> it's almost QT. This is a good subconscious cleanse for me. It reminds me of just things that I haven't thought of in years, like the to work a particular job people used to sell time. It's getting close to QT. Like quality time? Do we have to bond? I don't want to bond. I don't even want to work. Oh, we have to bond? It's part of the job? Maybe if I don't do it, they'll fire me. I don't feel bad about quitting. Oh, house in sight. I don't know what. It's probably not. Oh, not good. Oh, yeah, maybe good. I thought that was like one of those dying. I was dying. You gotta be kidding me how they made me do this. Satchel. If I have another kid, I'm naming it Satchel. Not because I like satchels or there's anything that's horse stamina. I would use that if the fucking horse came. Maybe I'll just have a little cocaine. Oh no, moonshine. Fully restores health. Uh. Drink that. Oh, I'm fucked up. Moonshine. That's what I want my nickname to be. Moonshine. Yo, Moonshine. It's not the house. It's not the house. Come on. I'm gonna have to steal a fucking horse. I'm sorry. I know that people around these neck of the woods don't do that, but that's what's happening. Oh no. no. Alright, that has nothing to do with me. Oh wait. Maybe maybe it does. Oh, it does. It does. It does. Yep. 